Hi, my name is Alex Parsi. I'm an uh, endodontist in Los Angeles. I uh, started out at UCLA, uh, got my dental degree, uh, had a year of uh, certificate programming and general practice residency. And then I went to Albert Einstein Medical Center for two years for my endodontic training in surgical and microsurgical endodontics. Um, shortly thereafter, I returned to Los Angeles and uh, set up my practice uh, for three years now. Uh, started in 06 and here we are today. I think the areas in uh, endodontics that really are going to benefit from three-dimensional imaging um, preliminarily are uh, diagnosis. Um, there are so, m so many cases and so often that we don't see um, the whole picture based on a two-dimensional image or maybe uh, uh, it's something that's emergent or something that's chronic and we don't necessarily see those fine um, points and we go ahead and take a three-dimensional image for example, a fracture maybe, or um, a, a perioendo lesion, things of that nature where having another tool, another tool set where you, you have another set of information coming in, you can make a more comprehensive decision on your, not only your diagnosis, but further on the line your treatment planning. I didn't need something that was a complete three-dimensional solution. For me, a focal 3D was really what I needed. I needed something that was, um, you know, at, at, and on the one hand, good to the patient in the sense that we got the information that I needed that was appropriate for each case. And how often do we do multiple root canals? We, we, you know, we don't. We usually are diagnosing one, maybe two root canals. So a focal, focal system really fit that profile for me. And you know, it's funny, the, the most important thing is, is quality, the image quality. And I looked at so many different ones, and when I came back to the SUNY um, um, CDA uh, kiosk, I really looked at the system once again, and I kind of, you know, put the images side by side. And not only was it the best image quality, but for the price, it was just right on for me. Um, so it made it very affordable uh, for an endodontic practice, especially mine, a small startup, to afford this type of technology and to 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 give and bestow this type of technology upon my patients. For an endodontic practice, a focal field of view is ideal because you're really only diagnosing one or maybe two teeth. And it has an added benefit for me. Uh, it helps me sleep easy at night because I don't have a large data set to diagnose and worry about. I only want to worry about the area or the teeth that are really important to me. And if we have a comprehensive type of uh, CT, uh, study, then all that other data set is also uh, something that potentially can become a liability in the future. Since I've got the 3D and since I have opened up my uh, capabilities in my office, um, a lot of my referring dentists have taken note. It, it brings a certain bit of credibility to the clinician, okay? When you can go ahead and use that other tool and, and diagnose something that may have been hard to diagnose originally, okay? Um, resorption cases are the first thing that I think about. Um, uh, maybe um, endoperio cases, fracture cases. Some of them are resolved, some of them are not. A lot of cases are uh, unrestorable. I personally, in my practice, I remove these teeth, augment them with bone, and then I um, get them over into an implant at some point. So it really is, is comprehensive. It gives me another uh, hat to wear in my practice where I can say, you know what, if we can't do it for you in an endodontic fashion, we can certainly do it by extracting the tooth and putting it in an implant.